What's up? Howdy doodly. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> um, so today, there really isn't anything in gaming news. I, I don't think there's anything really to talk about, uh, which is good. Because that yeah. means that we can just jump right into the content. That's true. We can deliver the content right to your door today. Right to your We are bringing brain. back our favorite, the fan favorite series, Indie Extravaganza. Yeah. Um, which is a series that we use as an excuse to play games that are on Game Pass that are probably just too short to enjoy by yourself. Correct. Um, and this format gives us a nice little... Uh, Gives us a nice little space to, uh, you know, opine about games that are maybe a little bit too popular. <laughs> In some cases, yeah. Yeah, the two games we've played on this so far, it's just the two, right? Just Death uh, We did Death and, Door and uh, we did Solar Ash. Ash. Yeah. They're both good. Yeah, they were, they were a lot. They were fun. They if were they were great. any longer, I don't know if I would have enjoyed them as much. True. They Very did true. what they did well, but they weren't, like, in my contenders of, like, they best. Were, like, they were enjoyable. Yeah. But yeah it's not really a game that i am hankering for more of um yeah especially i like death store was i think the problem with death store is how long it took us to play because we weren't yeah. playing it weekly yeah in the beginning we were yeah, playing so it, it to drag like, at yeah. that point um yeah we played like once a month and it's like that one day a month would come around and it's like i had uh, played here we go a little maybe like two thirds three quarters of it yeah, yeah, um, yeah before yeah. We had ever done it on the stream, and I did that in a weekend. True. Whereas it took us months to finish it on here, like piece. Yeah. And it was way more fun, honestly, when I was just blasting through it. Yeah. So I think that's like, it it just starts to get stale when you're playing it week over week for an hour at a time. It's also one of those games that's really hard to pick back up after you've put it down because it's like you don't really have a lot of direction. There's no like journal that's telling you what your quests are. There's Correct. no map. Correct. There's no There's mini no map. map. There's um, no, no map. map. No map. Um, <laughs> it's funny because like now every time I play a game, I'm like, oh, there's a map. And it's like, I think back to that. Like we played Power World and I was like, oh, there's a map. This is nice. I like yeah. having a map. Yeah. Have you played Tunic on stream? That was actually on the first wheel. Um, we yeah. did not play it because we did not land on it. But that would have been a really fun game. I, we, I, yeah, we can get back to it. So I love Legend of Zelda. The wheel we're spinning today is strictly indie games that came out in 2023. Um, I have not played a single one of these games on the list. I actually I played a little bit of Hi-Fi Rush. Um, it was good. People love that game. Mm. I thought it was good. I don't think it was the best game I've ever played. I don't think it was a contender for the best game of the year. But it was fun and it was different. Yeah. But all the other games on the list will be um, other like 2023 and like you might be like you're missing this game you're missing this game you're missing this game you're probably right we're missing a lot of games yeah, yeah. um this is just i looked at a couple different lists of like best indie games from last year and the names i saw coming up over and over again were the ones i put on this list sure and i'm sure there were games that were on, only on one list that might have been my favorite out of all the games on here but i was sure. just trying to go for like the quote unquote big hitters yeah, uh, I I mean, like, there's no Dave the Diver on here. Listen, there's uh -oh. never there's never gonna be a perfect list. That's um, true. Because there really are just like too many games out yes. there, especially um, indie games. Especially indie, indie, indie games are, are they hit the a renaissance to be they fair. are like not not to say like in a negative way, but they are probably the most oversaturated market in yes. gaming right now. Yes. Um, especially now with like you know uh shovelware games. yeah like like the ability to just like kind of asset flip a brand new game yeah. or like ai developed Did games you see um the um uh, hollow knight clone that the power world devs are putting out i didn't let's watch that that that'll be our thing before uh, we start gaming today okay it's not it's not a stream unless i have some opinions that's really what we're missing here we're missing some opinions um in other news Unrelated to gaming, the snack wrap is supposed to be coming back this year, which I'm very excited about. Um, I just make them at home now. Eventually, we're going to be getting uh, the new Elden Ring DLC, which will be cool. True. Um, Delta Rune, big, big indie game that's supposed to be coming out this year. I believe. Oh, is it? Uh, chapter three and four. Hopefully, it's supposed to be a double release. Um, who knows? Be fun. Who knows, man? All right, but that'll be pretty cool if it does come out because that was a great game. I really liked one and two. Let's let's watch this. Get your check this your out. Let's peep it. this out. 
It's it looks cool, but it is just a straight Let, uh, rip of a uh, I, of Hollow I believe that one hundred percent. All right, ready? Let's take a look. Let's do it. Yeah, this is a very familiar, very familiar aesthetic. <laughs> Never grave the witch and the curse, a tale of revenge against those who ruined our kingdom. Oh no. Oh, come dude. Come on. Like, the sounds are straight ribs, too. I mean, okay. The bosses look interesting. I'm seeing some, like, new environmental stuff, maybe. Like, the lava floor. That looks kind of cool. Yes, it's only the beginning. Look at the particle effect. This is cool. I mean, it's cool that you can like yeah, take over like yeah, yeah, yeah. and multiplayer, but multiplayer. like yeah, sure. Um, here's the uh, here's my problem, and this is kind of the issue that you run into with video games in general is to some extent you want there to be copying because copying of good mechanics is just how you develop genre Correct. and subgenre, like like. Hollow Knight itself steals, I'm using that word very loosely, um, some mechanics from other games, like in the Metroidvania. And like it, it has the soul that you yeah. do it too. And it's, and it's literally, I mean, the genre is called Metroidvania. Like, right. it is a genre based around games. Or like Souls-likes are literally just like stealing mechanics from the Souls games. Correct. Um, but you hit a point, and I, I, I have trouble with this personally. I don't know where that line is when you've crossed the line from you like taken inspiration and recreated it into your own game and like you've literally just like stolen from this other company <laughs> yeah i don't know man. also it's not out yet and it says that it's coming out yeah i, I don't think that this i don't want to trash talk the studio because i really don't know that much about them um but i the more i read about them the less the less uh Favorable, favorably yeah. I feel about them. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's much easier to see comparisons with 2D. Yeah, that's definitely that's also true. true. Yeah. Um I just feel like there was a lot of art style similarities, especially I think, in I that. Think like the big thing, I forget what this is called, but like having um what's the panoramic backgrounds? Like where the background mm -hmm. is like moving separate from the character yeah. and having that art style on the backgrounds feels very, very similar to Hollow Knight, but it might just be an aesthetic to parallax. Yeah. Parallax. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yes. did I say? Panoramic, Panoramic. parallax. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, but this is exactly Hollow Knight. Uh, yeah. it's, the art style is very reminiscent of Hollow Knight. You, like the, they had like literally ripped particle effects. Like, yeah. the, like the circles that appear around you are like the same thing that happens in your charging soul. Um, it's just kind of... It's not, it's not good. I All right. <laughs> Let's spin this wheel. Um, Let's spin this wheel, baby. Also... Uh, Three months in the making. I know. Um, oh. I know. Eclosion will be interested in this robot champ. I don't know if you will. I don't know if you've played. If you're interested in this, but um, the Celeste devs just put out Celeste sixty four for free. It's like a shortened little three D Celeste platformer, and it looks incredible. Um, I'm definitely gonna play it when I go home. Um, and like the fact that it's free and also they were just like here's all the code to go mod it and do your own things with if it. If it's free, it's for me. Listen. That is yep. And you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of have you ever seen like those girl math TikToks? Have you ever seen those? Love them. I'm gonna do a little bit of boy math here. Uh if I'm paying a subscription for Game Pass, all those games are free and it actually did Correct. not cost me any money. Correct. You okay? don't you don't boy pay math. Game Pass, the game pass yeah. is not it's not real money. No, man, okay. It's not real money. All the games on there are free. Okay, but like low key with the value of it, it basically is like there's No, no, you're not I'm not gonna let you do this to me because that's what I said about Netflix and now it's twenty dollars a month and I have to cancel it. All right. Mm. I can't do this. It's I can't twenty do it a month again. now? It's a lot. It might not be twenty, but it's like that's how I just find me. <laughs> Real. Listen, I need the Gohan skin. Listen, you're not. There is no world where you're gonna convince me King mentality. not to have any. I can't have any of the turtles. Is that what you're gonna tell me? That's ridiculous. I need all I four of the to, turtles. I refuse to accept that. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's yeah, spin let's this, wheel. this out. Let's let's see this wheel. All right. Um, and again, I believe that I have not played a single game on this list. Okay, so we like got a little bit of Hi-Fi Rush. Sorry, Hi-Fi Rush, Justin Ravenlock, Sea of Stars, Pizza Tower. 
Oh, I also spelled this one wrong. There's no T there. It's Jusant, not Justant. Okay. <laughs> uh, pseudo Regalia. I, uh, I can't read that one. But Time Machine? Uh, oh, Bramble the Mountain King. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, Cassette Beasts. So I'm um, familiar with a few of these. Can we just like throw out there that there's some I, that we definitely prefer to land on? Uh, I I have to say so yeah let's let's just say going into where our biases are okay. I'm personally most interested I guess in cassette beasts and pizza tower probably okay. I think those are the two that I've heard the most about so I'm probably leaning towards those for two. me pseudo regalia is my number one I, I that, that one did look interesting incredible that looked cool um, pizza tower because it just seems like amazing it just sounds like unhinged and yes. i like, need to see it i like um, need to see what the game's about Cocoon and sea of stars i'm really interested in playing but like if we don't play them on here i'm gonna play them at home that's anyway. what i was just about to say if we don't yeah. play pizza tower on here i'm gonna go home because it's like yeah. 10 bucks like i'm just gonna go home and buy it um <laughs> like honestly like bramble i kind of hope we don't get but if we get it i'm sure it'll be fun that's the thing I, none like of these games are like... gonna be bad yeah. i i have yeah. i have heard good things about all of them so uh yeah let's get to uh get to spin it let's let's get to spinning um in order to do that i need to pull up stream labs which i should have done before so we're going to continue to talk while i pull up the back end I, um, of stream labs so i can spin this you know wheel. What, like the wheel stuff reminds do you ever watch that episode of the office where they had like a chore wheel and like they got to the end and like they're just like oh it turns out that really the fun part was just spinning the wheel so yep. it's kind of a band uh -huh. concept uh -huh. <laughs> that's how i feel about this i just i just really want to spin a wheel i don't care what we land do on. you want to do the I button love spinning wheels uh, no, I'm I'm good on that part. I just want to watch a wheel spin and then land All right. on something. All right, we'll That's get ready because we're about to spin the wheel. Let's do it. Let's see this. Mm, very exciting. Super Super Regalia. Regalia. Okay. Let's go. So we got one that you were hoping for. So one of us is very excited about this, and the other one is very intrigued because I actually remember looking at Pseudo Regalia, um, and I have completely blanked all that from my mind. Don't oh. give this man a gotcha game. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started, man. I he, box I think would love every gotcha game except for the fact that it has gotcha mechanics I, and he knows that he'll be a it whale. It bums me out. That's what bums me out. Is like I've I've seen gameplay for um Listen, Genshin Impact is a great Impact. game. I've it's seen a gameplay fun game. and I'm like, "You know what? This game looks awesome. I will never play it because I philosophically I, disagree with I it." I spent over a hundred dollars on Genshin. And once like, I had that realization, that's what I was like, what am I doing? This is a free video games, but I want the cool characters and the cool weapons. It's like, there's all these streamers that are like, I'll never stream on kick because it's subsidized by gambling. And that is exactly how I feel about, about anyone who Genshin streams Impact. Gotcha games. I just can't. I was a Genshin, Genshin streamer. I personally <laughs> just can't justify subsidizing Genshin Impact. Genuinely I the most successful it. I ever was with like my own personal stream was when I was almost daily streaming Genshin Impact. I believe that because here's the thing, as a person who lives vicariously through CSGO box opening videos, uh, I've never- Actually, Robot Chim, I have insane luck in Genshin Impact. Um, I'll try to find a picture for next week's stream, but in one roll, like where you get, you know, you pull like 10 items, I got um, two five-star characters and two five-star weapons. Are these like CSGO knives? Break this down. Explain this to me so, in Fortnite terms. Um, okay. I need well, to hear it in so, Fortnite. Well, so, like, there's, like, three-star, four-star, and five-star items. How rare are the five-stars? Five-stars, I can't remember the exact math, but, like, it's something, like, you're they... guaranteed to get one five-star in every, box? like, no. It, you're guaranteed to get a four-star in every ten. Oh, jeez. You're guaranteed wow. to get a five in every, like, 200 or something like that. So this is like I you know what I feel I feel like this is like my friend explaining his parlay to me. And yeah. Like, I mean that's exactly what it is because it is literally like, listen, just gambling. Man, listen, if 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 I get like if if we cover the spread and like this guy gets three touchdowns, man, like I make fifteen thousand dollars. And I'm just saying I pulled I think it was like a venti, a Look, Ganyu, it and an emo spell. Sometimes it hits. Once. I had a it friend who, who won one hundred and fifty dollars off a five dollar bet. Sometimes it hits. And that is the best feeling in the world. And that's why I will never play gotcha games because I know it's very smart of the, you. The first day you get a knife is the last day you ever play CSGO because you're just gonna spend the rest of your time opening boxes. <laughs> you're not gonna be playing the game. Okay, so for anyone unfamiliar with pseudo regalia, it is from the description that I have read, and again, I've never played this game. It is described as a 3D Metroidvania platformer in a PS1 style. So, so in other words, Banjo Kazooie. We're looking at Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie here. wasn't on. 
one. It was uh, is the 64. N64 was that like the same generation as the PS1 or is that generation ahead? What I feel like because I feel like Nintendo didn't really have an in between console. Uh, no, PS1 and N64 were the are they the same yeah. generation? PS2 and GameCube. Oh yeah, PS3 yeah, and the Wii. PS4 and the Wii, Wii U and Switch. <laughs> and then PS5 is still on with the Switch because Nintendo hates us. Switch Nintendo two, hates Switch 2's coming this year. I, dude, honestly, it's actually so sad how much money Nintendo could make from me just by putting out Switch 2 and um, putting out like a remake of Pokemon Violet. That doesn't look bad. I would, I would buy it and I would play it every day. Okay, now it's the part where we try to get the controller to work nice w yeah this computer is not on windows 11 so it doesn't have native support does windows 11 have any i might be making that up actually i just haven't had any problems since i downloaded windows 11 with my ps4 controller nice all right very cool is it a game pass no, it's Steam, which is surprising because yeah, I feel like awesome. Steam usually works really well with the DualShock 4. Unknown uh, controller support. Oh, no. This is a way to do it. Big picture mode. It's true. Big picture mode, like, honestly. It will solve 90% of your problems. Yeah. Okay. I'm into the music. I like Thanks. that. I think, like, visually and just, like, thematically, kind of, this game will be very cool. Oh, look, it's, there's no controller mapping. Probably why. Oh, do I have to... Yeah, go to controller settings. And then, um... Yeah, so it has built in for the Xbox. So that's probably why. So if you're using... Uh, go up and then if you hit change like if you click on the layout this yeah um and then go to community layouts none you have an xbox controller not with me uh just go to like game gamepad right? probably yeah. right and then square. left bumper analog trigger that should right. work and then uh if you hit square and then you go back Yeah, there you go. Cool. Yeah, I really, I do love this, like, era of video games. I never really got to live through it, um, because it was before my time, but it was also, like, bad time. It's kind of like how nobody today plays on the Wii U or Xbox 360 anymore, because it's not old enough to be vintage. Yeah. It's just kind of bad. It's just a worse version of what we currently have. Um, and there aren't really exclusives anymore. <laughs> So it's true. When I was um, when I was a kid, I played the SNES. That was like my retro console. Give Sybil pants. I guess the character doesn't have pants. Is that like the big head mode? I guess so. Very Eight funny. slots. That feels excessive. I don't know. All right, I I'm actually genuinely very excited to play this game. Okay. Already digging the audio design. Oh, okay. So we're a goat person, goat lady. What are they called? What is it? Satyr? Yeah, a satyr. Like the like the. I guess this is the observe button. Okay. So usually right now it's like all that alters it's your true. FOV, right? Like if you do in like Legend of Zelda, do you get any like benefit from doing that, or is it just like? squint your eyes a little bit oh i can go first person view oh that's cool so i uh, yeah i, I don't love know. that sound seem like i really like anything. that sound effect me too it feels very very like this era okay there's like a clock motif going on with the music all right i can uh oh you can vault, vault. okay that's, pretty that's, cool. that's the term yeah I'm, I'm into like the clock thing. I gotta like... say the default here. You can try running around the room. Yeah, but the sure. default um, 
sensitivity oh, feels like perfect sure. actually at least for me um yeah the camera i like um i like that the feel... character moves at like a ds1 frame rate while everything else doesn't right yeah so the camera is like really smooth but the characters yeah. are kind of choppy almost um i feel like i'd like to oh that's pretty cool you can do 360s so i like that um so the character that's funny so the character is animating at 60 frames um but they just removed i guess the frames like frames from the animation to make it look choppier yeah like to it's, make it it's look receiving 30. input at 60 fps we're actually running at 144. okay yeah God, that's pretty funny okay that's pretty cool um yeah i like it i'm i'm yeah it feels fun it feels cool um i love the animations so far too i'm interested in it because so this is okay so that's definitely a spot that we're gonna blow up later yep. when we get bombs um i really like the, so this is the cool thing about um like indie games is that they revisit like earlier technological eras with like modern game design yes so in a game from this time period you are probably never starting in a location like this like this is a location that you get into maybe this is like the first dungeon in the game but this yep. is like after you've been introduced to the characters and you kind of get a sense for what you're doing yep you're uh, still right this game dropping you like sort of like in in what is and media rest like having like the and media ray the like, dream break throwing you into the game i love that i think that's really cool i also now that we're playing this i feel like this game would be totally fine to play with mouse and keyboard probably I, I was thinking that, like, but this is my thing is, like, the more I play mouse and keyboard, the more I want to play mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I, I, I prefer agree. mouse and I keyboard. I kind of generally play any game mouse and keyboard when I mm -hmm. can. But since 3D this platformers, is a game, like, having the analog stick for movement and since helps this a lot. Is literally designed by, like, the dev as a PS1 style game, I feel like I have to play with a dual shock. True. Like, Attack I, um, really well moving to vanquish foes. Hitting enemies will build up magical power. Very cool. To use okay. okay, and it has the Hollow Knight aspect of attack build enemies stole. to build up yeah, right, right, heal right. meter. Okay. And I'm guessing that thing. Oh, I like the Art Deco is. style like oh, yeah, UI the, in the yeah, corner. The HUD. Yeah, very cool. I like that. Oh, that looks beautiful. My my one complaint is I feel like the HUD looks a little bit like the gradients in the HUD look a little bit too polished. I can, yeah, yeah. I would have preferred if it was like choppier, like maybe more pixelated. Yeah, it's it a, little a little pixelated, bit, but I know what you mean though. Like the like the color gradients look like they're too, like almost too clean. But I, oh. I like it. Okay. I can't believe I took damage on the first enemy of the game. Okay, so there are half hearts in this game. All right, that's where we just came from. So I guess you got to go back to the other room and break the uh, wall. Was that through here? I think so. It was, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a thing up there. Oh, you can't I don't know if it? I can get up there. Can you jump on the fire or is that, do you take damage? Do you take damage from fire? This is an important question. I can't even reach the oh, fire. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's not even like material. Oh, that's weird. Do you see that your character leaves like a trace behind? Yeah, him? yeah, I like that a lot. I didn't realize that. That's very interesting. So I feel like this game plays a lot with like a, like so far it seems like it's playing with like a time motif. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you have the clock in the background, like your character's like leaving traces and like, I don't know, that's interesting. I wonder if that's like relevant to the story. <laughs> or if they were just like, I like clocks. <laughs> this, uh... Yeah, the vibe in this game is very interesting. Like, it feels, like, very, like, lonely, almost. Like, there's all these cages, bro. Like, what is... If I feel like Dark Souls levels of cages. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna posit a guess here that I can... Nope, okay. Oh, like, swing across on them? Or... Well, I thought I might have been able to, like, hit it, and then the hit would give me, like, a jump. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, behind you. LOL. Um, what is that? Is that like a wall crawler? Should I go get it? Uh, I think it'll probably do damage. Oh, did the save point heal you? Is that what just happened? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. So what does this guy just crawl on walls and like troll you? Oh, he's coming towards you. Ah! Nice. Eliminated. Very cool. Um, 
my favorite thing about like this era of gaming honestly is the sound uh i i, I the totally sound design is just i think so like crisp. this era of games and then also the game boy advance yeah had, like some of my oh my god the game boy design. advance sound card was like undefeated like the like it's the so symbol good. hits in that thing yep. were so classic love that that's like I still think like Gen Three Pokemon music is like my favorite oh my music God, in yeah, the series. Of you, so if you hit that, I feel like I'm getting a vibe from that pillar thing. If you hit it, it'll probably fall. And then so you can smart. and then you can use it to. Climb oh, I can get up back and fall. forth easily. Yeah. Wow. Can you use that to jump across? Is there anything over there? Or is that like too far? Is there? It looks like there's something in the cage. You're so smart. What's oh, dead should stay dead. It's, it's dead. dead. What does dead may never die? Is that from um? Is that from Game of Thrones? Yeah. Nice. This is. Oh, this is like creepy. Yeah, this is adding more to the vibe. Okay, wait. I want to say really quick before we go any further. I I don't want this game to be meta. I don't want there to be like meta elements of like you know how like in Undertale like there's like meta elements of like the game sort of plays with the fact that it is a game. Yeah. I don't want that. Okay. Um, okay. I'm kind of sick of that in games. I'm not saying it's like a bad design. Seems like that's not what's going on. Overdone. Okay. But he's back. Or maybe they are talking oh, about me. Oh, he's just a little goat guy. That's that's nice. He's just a little goat guy. Same thing. Okay. But he's back. Okay, interesting. I'm yeah, very glad you pointed um, that out because I feel like that's a little fun lore bit that. Oh, the little guy. Oh, there's yeah. little guys in all the games. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, interesting. Okay, but he's the only one that wants to talk. Um. Yeah. So it looks like they're going for like kind of like a vague, cryptic vibe with the uh the little guys. That's interesting. So I guess we're like them, except we are. I think we might be the. Oh, cool. Oh, you, you do, do a back. back yeah. Back. If you so you crouch with L two, and then if you jump, you do okay. a backflip out of it. I love seeing like nice cool little dodge. Mechanic. I love seeing cool movement stuff in video games, like when they go for like something. Does it have height to it? No. Okay. I don't know if it was a Mario situation. Yeah, like a, what's that called? Like the standing back jump? Or yeah. Whatever? Where they like just spin. I've seen like one. Is it Emiru does like? I've seen like that clip. I think it's like Mizkip trying to do like the backflip up the stairs, and he can't do it. And then I, I don't know who it is. The girl that he's with is just like she just takes the controller and she does like first try. The text in those games are crazy. I also like. This is another thing that I wanted to point out that I forgot before. Um, I think it's really nice that this game feels like a PS1 game, but you you can eliminate some of the annoying things that come from that era of gaming, like taking 10 minutes to save to the to the disc. Oh my God, um, yeah. Because there are- I'm gonna guess I'm getting a slide soon. Yeah, probably, yeah. Oh, probably right here. Yeah. There are um, things in this game. Nice, very cool. Left trigger, okay. Gain a boost of speed. But buy yourself an incomplete technique. So I'm guessing you're probably gonna do like a slide attack or something maybe later. Yeah. Um Or like you can slide and then super jump out of it. Oh maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh but yeah, I think um uh I think in games that are supposed to be like retro analog type games, uh I think it's 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 hard to draw the line between something that we want to bypass because it's like old and archaic mm -hmm. and um something that we want to keep because it captures that element of retro so like the 30 fps you know yes like they, like that's a technological thing that we don't have to do anymore but like it's an artistic decision that they've made right but then you have other things like taking 10 minutes to save which like there's no artistic value to that like that's just kind of an annoying thing that that's we can now get rid of you know yeah, I might be able yeah. to slide under that um, wall now. Is there like a gap in the wall? Oh, there's different attire. Oh, okay. You can reset to last save. I was mostly seeing if there was a map. No map. No. Zero we stars. don't do maps around here. Zero stars, no map. We only play games without maps on this stream. Actually, Solar Ash had a map. We should, you know what we should do? We should, after we finish every game that we play, we should just go to the Steam store and just rate it based on whether or not it has a map. Yo, he oh, just he told me to get weird. out. That was rude. No, it's like the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's like a guy who's gonna try to do like brain surgery down here, I guess. I'll never do it again. I just want to get out of here. These guys, they're like. This is a scary game. Yeah, the vibes are very weird. 
And you got All like right. this crazy... wall jump. Definitely getting a wall jump. Oh yeah. And there's like super heavy reverb on the synth. So it just like, you just feel like super like, yep. empty. I don't know. What time is it? Is it I don't want to hog the controller. No, go. I'm, you. I'm enjoying right. watching though. Your disguise is paper thin, but it'll fool most of them. Not like it matters. You're stuck here like the rest of us now. No getting past strong eyes. Okay, so we're not one of the goats. We're just dressed like the goats, I guess. Are or maybe we are one man? of them, but we look like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, can you climb on the cages? Yeah. Oh, that, like that, 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 that yep. Yeah, yep. okay. No? Uh, maybe it has to make like contact with the wall for you to climb it. Or is there like a, oh, oh. Uh, okay, interesting. I hope we get an air dash at some point. Yeah. I'm like, I'm actually so happy that this is the game we landed on. Yeah, I'm definitely, I've been I'm intrigued, I'm very interested. Okay, oh, that looks like guy. a ball? Yeah, that looks like a serious enemy. Oh, whoa, weird. It's like Tony the Tiger. With the ghost one. Oh my oh, god. Wow, this guy is cooking. He's Louise. I don't know what the heal button is. Oh wow, that's real. Oh, I also lost my weapon. Oh, that's a thing that can happen. That's interesting. And I need it to heal. Okay. That's an interesting mechanic. Oh, and you heal all your stuff at once. That's an interesting mechanic. Okay. That's very unique. I don't think I've ever played a game that did that. I slid right into it. Oh, there's notches on yeah. the... Yeah. And then it just heals all, like, all yeah. the vault, I guess. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so it's kind of like... I guess like Souls-like Metroidvania almost. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I dropped anything. There's no currency. Oh, so. true. Oh, uh, squares attack. L's slide. You can directionally slide whatever way you want. X is jump. Movement is like pretty smooth. Yes. I feel like I've made this point before a few times. Um, having a character designed in a way that tells you how they like interact yep. um, is super, super, super important. Yep. Um, so like this guy, like he's like a lumbering giant. Wow, that would have been cinematic if I died there. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. So this guy's like a huge, like giant dude. Um, so you can tell just like from the way he looks, you know, like he doesn't move very fast, but he like does damage when he hits you. you know? Yeah. And he's got like crazy range, which is cool. I love that. Oh my god. And he has a lot of health, which is 
you know, indicate Remember the Yeti fucking door. That, that was ridiculous. Worse. That was so hard. That was another thing about that game. That game was, like, tough. It was really hard, yeah. This guy is not going down. It's one of the boss fights you're just supposed to lose. What's your opinion on that mechanic? Um, I think the right way to do it is to make them very, very, very hard and then give you, like, but make it possible. And then, and then you, you get, get it, like, they're like Elden Ring. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wait, did that happen in Elden Ring? Yeah. Oh, like the first boss. Yeah. Yes. Um, I was thinking of Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi 2, because they had, like, four <laughs> fights like that. Like, I think the Majin Buu fight. And if you beat them, you got, like, some crazy unlock. I didn't even read what we just picked up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a key. It's in your inventory. Okay. Um, I don't remember there being any locked doors. It's for the little guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, that would be cool. And then I have to, like, maybe the entire game is just this, and then you just have to go around, like, unlocking the little guys. Actually, it probably is for that jail. Okay, wait, so your jump height is at. Oh, okay, so. I think if you hold X, you go higher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Oh. There. I, was this here before? <laughs> it was. It definitely was. That's why we didn't go that way. And then we talked to the little guy, and he said, Your disguise is paper thin. Oh, that was scary because okay, that's, that's like back way the back in the game. Yeah. Okay. Castle Sansa. Man, we're just full of Game of Thrones. It's all Game of Thrones, today. yeah. This is just Game of Thrones. Hit those arm roll Things of armor. Do you think they drop? Oh, uh, man. I was hoping they would. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I think you have to. I think I don't think you could have made the jump the other way. Nice. I'm telling you that'll be a thing. A slide jump. Like, you'll slide, and then... And then I bet you you'll vault with your sword. Well, that looks bad. Icky. Oh, hello, little guy. How I keep reading... I keep thinking it says steel. How do I... Ah, <laughs> uh, circle. These crystals are pretty nice, right? They make me feel safe. I think I'm gonna lick it. I bet it's full of minerals. I like the little flare on minerals too. That was um. When did this game come out? Because that was like kind of a meme a little while this back. Past was year. like the. Do you do you remember that? Like the goats minerals thing. No. It's um. It's like a picture of a goat. I forget. There's like this species of goat that like climbs like like hills to lick salt. Okay. Um. And it just says like. I forget what it was like something about minerals it's like I'm those are the minerals. same goats that just get absolutely ruined by eagles. by eagles yeah. yeah oh that's crazy so sad eagles gotta eat them that's true that's just nature okay one thing i would like i think maybe that, oh. oh no uh, no slide is jumping. if there was yeah. more of an indication for how much damage i'm doing to enemies because right now it's kind of hard to tell yeah um, like they don't really react much to being hit. Right, they don't really have they don't have a hit stun, there's no knockback. Yeah, there's not yeah. really weight to my attacks. Indignation. The range of your attack is extended. At level cool. three, your damage is increased. This is reset upon spending it on a heal. Oh, that's inch oh, level two, level three uh, of your magic. Okay. So I have like extended range and yep. that's a cool mechanic. So right now you have extended range and damage. But when you heal, you'll have none of it. It's a cool enemy. I I really like enemies that you don't have to dodge. You kind of just have to walk around. That, yeah. Like, I, I that really you can like grab onto enemies. that pole. I, I bet you can. Uh, I bet you can. A little bit too far. Yes, yeah, so you should still have the extended range. I really do love the design. I yeah, I like it. I like the I like the vibe. There's a bunch of brick walls over there, like the breakable ones. Uh, over here? Yeah. Oh, these things? Yeah. Oh, that up there. I don't know if you can get to that yet. Yeah, you probably have to go. Uh, there's the probably a way. lever that I'm. Pulling, I guess. Uh, that, why is that box just floating? I don't know. I'm guessing this game is gonna play. I'm guessing that's the lever. <laughs> kind of funny with physics, maybe. Uh, oh, and then it raises.
these two. Gotcha. Okay. I understand. And this one will raise. No! Oh. Bad feels. Okay. If I go this way. This is gonna take us back. No, this oh, that is. Guy looks crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That looks I like can't... a Yu Gi Oh card. Okay, so I can't hit him when he has the blue thing up, I guess? Probably. I don't know. I'm not gonna try. He's. <laughs> Jeez Louise. The evil French horn really came for you. What is that? The evil sousaphone. All right, the enemies are already off the walls in this game. Very interesting. A lot of interesting. There's things. also, where are you? I feel like you've been in eight different, like, I thought there was like a big circle, but now we're already in a bunch of, you can knock those. Oh, but. Yeah, I was wondering you get to the next to one now? I don't know. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I hope it's not one of those games where it's like you can you lock, lock yourself, yourself out of pathway. Yeah. Because you didn't think. You never think. All right. I like, I, I like that mechanic for that reason, where it's like, you should have thought about it. But at the same time, like, uh, give I me a it, redemption arc. Yeah, I think it can be cool, but also sometimes it just like, <laughs> it like ruins games for me sometimes. I think it's cool um, if it's done in a manner oops, where it's like um, you stop yourself from being able to get this early. Now you have to wait until yeah. later or you have a new mechanic to in order to be able to get sure. it. Um, all right, so in that last room, there were yellow doors. I don't know. No, you're back here. Huh. I don't. I would just go back the way you came. Is there... Oh. oh, you didn't unlock the paraglider yet. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Wait, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Oh, no. Yeah, you're cooked. Okay. You're cooked. I'm sorry. I saw this thing raised, and I was like, oh, I must have unlocked it or something. But then I remembered we did not have the jump height. Yeah. Trag absolutely tragic. I can't oh. believe that didn't hit you. Okay. Maybe it only does damage with the blue flashes. Cause that definitely. No, everything has points. contact damage. Uh, this is back the way we came, right? Yes. No. no that's this like this is like hey, a central a music area. Note up there. You oh no, wait, that's in. a key. That's a key. Yeah. Can I? No, I need. No, to... we did. There's definitely oh, some. Something. There was like a an unlock in the other room that you were in before. Like if you go this way. There was, there was um, like an unlock across the way. I don't know how you get to it, but. Well, there was like a door. Oh, I didn't see um, that. I didn't go through the door because it had white fog, which in my head means boss fight. Or new area. Oh, okay. Empty Bailey. Okay, so are we just. I guess we're just. Whoa. Okay. Skybox. Very cool. There's a save and a door. Um. Hmm. So this game is like not gonna give us like any guidance. Feels like doesn't seem like it. Yeah. And this is like big. Like there's. <laughs> yeah. I've already like walked past like four different areas. This guy's gonna try to me up. Hey, there's a golden key up there. And I can't get. I don't think there. you can make that. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, and the statue just like, got up. And why are they always come like? Okay, I'm gonna go back. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Oh, you can slide under there. Oh, how about that? Ooh, abo dab. I think you gotta jump on that one and then jump across. Yeah, you can make that. Oh my god. Alright, no. You can't make it? No. Okay. Uh, oh, the music slaps yeah, in this, this area, cool. though. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna come back here. Later. Um, I'm very into this game. I might just go home and blast through it tonight. No, I got Tears of the Kingdom to play. All right, let's try this other door. We're in the castle keep now, okay. Locked. This one also gonna be blocked. Oh, 
Like, there's so many rooms. I know. I really wish there was a map. Okay. Even one where it's like, you know, you get like the basic map where it shows like a room and then little arrows connecting it to show you which one goes to which. Like, yeah, like the doesn't old even Zelda map. Like, yes. My furniture. Yeah, I'm gonna get Ooh, that. Okay. We probably can't do much in this area. Well, you can do this. Okay, so you cannot climb the vines at all. Can't go over there. Yeah, I think maybe that there's one. stuff we missed. Probably. Ooh. Clutch. <laughs> you got that clutch, Gene. Uh, wait. Can you jump on top of that and knock it down? Yes. God, there's so many That's guys. a lot of guys. Oh, okay. I do stuff over here. Yeah. I wonder if you get knocked off and take damage. Oh, I see. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, hold on. I get it. I get it. Okay. Oh. I am hungry, and, like, the Taco Bell uh, thing is not helping. There we go. What's up now? Oh, did I just deflect one of those? Did you? Maybe not. I might have mentioned that. So what did that do? Open up the something over it, there? It raised those stairs raise probably. Them a little bit, and then I have to go hit this one and raise this one. I bet you bit. can reflect because you're heading straight towards that one. It's gonna shoot at you. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to get better at that. I as as much as I love the Dark Souls games, I never really got into the parry mechanic, so That's I'm like fair. not good at it. Okay, I just realized something, and I don't like this. I don't like when games do this. This is a what? big... All right, I'm gonna... Okay, so there are keys in this game, and there yeah. are many, many, many locked doors. Um, So this key could be used for, like... There's a like key doors. different doors yeah. right now. I don't like when games do that. I don't like that. Zelda games do that. I hate when they do it. Um, okay. I want there to be one key her door pretty much or like at most two there's like like maybe five different doors right now that we could go unlock and that gives me like that makes me nervous all right because i because then i start to think like but like that also means that eventually you'll get keys to unlock all the doors that's true just because you didn't go through the right one the first time like no. if you didn't go through one it probably the quote unquote right one it probably means you went yeah you, you just wrap sort of around optional later or something i just i don't I don't like it. Okay. It messes with that part of my brain that like you get when like something's not complete. The dopamine receptors aren't firing after you open the door. Yeah, like should I oh, open there you this go. one? Yep. I... Oh, this one's gold. Okay. Oh. So we can't open that one. You gotta get the gold key for that. There was one there. through here, wasn't there? There was something you could unlock somewhere around here. Or was this the what no, this, that this, one? That was um a double jump, I think, that we couldn't this was the one with like the, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I think we might have to leave the key. Yeah, right, go back to the regular castle. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get that thing somehow. 
Well, I don't think I tried. We already went through here. This led us back to the beginning. Um, yeah, there's also definitely stuff the... in that first area that yeah, we I'm have to go back to. Have we been to this part? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't remember. Is this wraps around to this room? Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna try. We have a key now, so maybe there's stuff that we can unlock. Oh, yep, right there. Oh, but which one? <laughs> okay, this is going to take us to the keep on the other side of this door, which... This oh, is a I different th area. Oh, it's not. See, like what? Okay, so yeah, now we just kind of wasted that, that like, key, what right? Is, what does that do? Yeah. That was just a shortcut. Is the other one also just a shortcut? This is why I don't like keys. I hate keys. <laughs> oh man, I hate keys. Um, okay. This doesn't make right? Do we, we thoroughly inspect this? Um, nice. Well, I'm really glad those aren't insta kill. Because I would have died like seven times. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I also, I'm also glad they're not insta-kill, but I do feel like they should maybe be a full thing of damage. Yeah, well, because what does a half heart? Do the enemies do a half heart? Uh, I think uh, some of them do a half heart on contact, but maybe not if they actually attack. Like, that guy definitely does a full. He's got to. But the trombone, when the projectiles hit they're you, primarily ranged. Yeah, they only Whoa. did half. There's a bubble down there. I bet you it'll take you up into the air, or can't. yeah. Oh, okay. So you jump into it, and then you can jump out of it. Okay. It gives you like a little jump boost. Uh... Okay, we're not getting quite enough air. Wow, hello. <laughs> Okay, this Whoa, thing is than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, he took way more damage than I was expecting. Wow. I don't even remember where you went. Um, there should be a shortcut to the right. If you go through that door in the, the top. Top door, okay. Oh wait, that's where we came from. Yeah. Yeah, if you go down there should take you to where you just were yeah oh okay because i died that was the foyer oh right 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 you went all the way back through the yeah like this way yeah or, okay um and then i went via that path you have a sword path this is like another, like, just give us like a compass or something. Yeah. Like, if I have a sense of direction. I do think the enemies are pretty funny. All right, so this guy's almost like a mini boss. I thought it was gonna be like four hits. But he just keeps going. Come on. Nice. Um. How did you, you can dash out of it? Oh, interesting. Okay. I had a feeling. I don't know why, but I was just like... Very cool. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I don't think... I think you just can't make that, right? I don't think I just, like, missed it. Oh, no, you can. I did just miss it. It looked like it was too far. It's 
kind of hard to judge distance just from sight. I feel like that's just something you kind of pick up the more you play a game. Uh, I feel like that platform. Oh no, the bubble. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Nice. Are you going for the far one? Yeah. Nice. Okay. I mean, I know it's like a modern game, so obviously I'd feel this way, but I do feel like if I was playing this in 2001, this would be like the best game I've ever played. Mm. Yeah, so this is, I don't really know how to phrase this. Um, the, the, the way that the game is designed is gonna be super, super, super important, or, or like the quality of the game design really is gonna be super, super important with a game like this. Yeah. Um, so like having a game where you progress from room to room without really completing that room, um, knowing that you're gonna have to come back to it later, is it's very difficult to design a game like that and make it isn't confusing. Yeah. Um, like very, very, very difficult. Um, so much. So <gasps> oh no! You slide. Just, yeah. Um, that it, whenever I play a game like this, I'm implicitly like not excited about it because I don't trust game designers to do a good job with it. <laughs> but they're doing pretty good with it. I, I don't feel like I'm extremely confused right now. Yeah, it's it's um, big, but I don't feel super lost. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Like, I feel like I have a general sense of my bearings. Um, like, I think they do enough to differentiate between the rooms for me to be like aware of what I'm doing. Maybe this is what the focus helps with. Like maybe being, I don't know. Can you attack in first person? What? Can you attack in first person? I like I'm saying, oh my god. I can't like jump the way I want to off that. I thought I could jump from pole to pole. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe we can't do this part yet. Oh, I thought I could step on that, too. I think uh, you got to raise it with a lever that's above that platform. Mm, yep. But uh, I don't know how you're supposed to get up there. Or, well, I think I do know how, but I don't know how we would do it. I think you're supposed to... Like that. Oh, I'm sorry. And then jump to that. But I don't know how that would work. Yeah, I feel like if I'm facing back, we're... Oh, I can, I can, okay. Oh, you jump longer that way? Yeah. Nice. Ah, right, cool. Very nice. Okay, the reflect does feel super cool. I haven't really mastered it yet. You have to... Hit uh, on this? No, you just oh, I raised yeah, it already. Damage oh. it, and then uh, yeah. I don't know if you can reach that. Oh, maybe if you hit that lever, maybe that'll yeah. be taller. Gonna take a peek through here really quick. I think that just goes back, maybe like a shortcut. Oh, another little dude. Oh, he doesn't have eyes. doesn't say anything backwards. Interesting. Interesting. I like don't want to hit it.
I think it's really just so you can get back up. Alright, I want to, like, accomplish something. I feel like we're just creating little unlocks around the place. Yeah, like, I'm unlocking shortcuts, but I don't know what I'm unlocking shortcuts to. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a bit tanky. Is there a door over there? Yeah. Oh, there's no way you're reaching that. Yeah, we, there has to be like a wave dash or something, or like a s wall scale, like a wall jump. Is this new, this area? It seems like it, right? There's gotta be like a wall cling or wall jump. Yeah. to the crystal and you hit it, it'll heal you. Hmm. Oh, we're back to the bubble area. Yeah, but it looks like you're way higher up now. Did we, uh, yeah, you went every path in here, right? We covered all of it, I think. I think so, yeah. Looks like there are some dudes up there, but I don't know how you're gonna reach them. Yeah, like there, there has to be something that we missed. But like there's like a double jump, clearly, that we don't have access to. should be able to jump down there and break all those. Interesting. Okay, this is now. Feels like a boss. Yeah. Like a chicken themed boss. Listless library. Listless. Oh, the library. Oh, this music's top tier. I like it. Is there like a giant chicken librarian? Yeah, there is hay all over the place. Giant, like, hen librarian, maybe. Um, under the stairs at the entrance, is there something? Yeah, that's what I was gonna go check. Oh. That, that was so fast. We read a whole book. Interesting. Oh, no. I feel like it might get meta after that line. All the world's a stage. You read a book about reading, it's hard to read. Nothing? Okay. Mm -hmm. About a beautiful princess waiting in the tower to be saved by a charming prince. The ending is torn out. books. You read a book about aquatic life. You'd really like to see the ocean one day. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Is that like a reference to a sequel? Like an underwater sequel? Or a reference to multiple lives. Hmm. Because what is dead is supposed to stay dead. Right. According to our one friend before. How to deal with loss. Your mind is mended whole, driving you sane. Should be able to jump across to the door frame. Yep. Uh... Nice.
I, I, that's too high, right? Yeah. See. Oh, there's something down there I can break. Oh, there's a power-up. Looks like it's trapped. Um, you have no idea how annoyed I'm going to be if you can't break that thing. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Sun Greaves. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Air. After a short delay, you can do an air kick. Hitting walls or objects within it causes you to jump away. Nice. It can be done three times. Okay, so it's not really a double jump. It really is more and about just the... But we can but probably... You, off, you can just do it off of walls infinitely. Oh, can you not? I thought it said resets if you jump it off of... Uh... Yeah, you can do it up to three times. Got Timing it. seems a little hard, though. Is this about us? Like, I better heal from that. <laughs> Maybe they were just really proud of their sitting animation and they couldn't find a place to put it in the game. Probably. Press X while you're in Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Oh, it does it automatically? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I can't land the placement on this thing. Yeah, it feels weird. This game's strong suit. But you only have the rake. I mean, fall. Who are you supposed to go? Oh, wait, maybe you're supposed to go like. There you go. Okay. Very nice. Man, that was rough. Oh, they're chickens. I had no idea what these things were. They're, they're like little eggs. Yeah. Is that a note? Oh, I can't read it. Are you kidding me? I was hoping it was chicken wisdom. <laughs> I wonder if you can pick off those. 
a wretch that's going under. They're gonna need something big to save it. I wonder if these are like references to things. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, dude. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, this is. Well. I already know this is gonna be like absolutely ridiculous. See, like, what is, like, what what determines the direction that I go in? I have no idea. I feel like I'm kind of just flying off in random directions. Story about princes in the last page ripped out. Is that, is, yeah, is that like a reference? I don't understand that one. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh, that is a Shrek reference. Oh, ha, okay, I get it. Okay, so then, what is the other one, like Ratatouille? <laughs> it's the other one, Ratatouille, maybe. Like, I can't. Breck does use it for toilet paper. That is, that is how the movie begins. I can't, all right, this is a lost cause. A woman with a sword. Looking for revenge. Uh, that could be a lot of things. I feel like that's like self-referential, maybe. Or it's Arya Stark. Wait, I'll try that area. If we can get back to it. If we. Can, oh yeah, you fine. want to? Yeah. Are we thinking we can't do it yet, or are we thinking it's just? I difficult? feel like there's like a wave dash that we need. I, I feel like there's like no way, but I don't know. Like I'm just not getting enough air. Yeah, no, I think you're. The only way I can think that it might be possible is um there's like a little there's like a lift above this oh sorry no you're good i was trying to get this away so i can actually read chat oh. kill bill oh it could be kill bill uh all right all right i'm just gonna oh this thing is raised I like the reading a book about reading. It's hard to read. And then we should be able to. Wow. Yeah, okay. So we could so we could get our we could get back up there if we had to. Presumably. Right, I think we're we don't have a key for that, right? Yeah. Alright, well now that we have the kick thing. <laughs> now which of the other sixteen areas we've been to do you wanna go to next? This is um yeah, like I I'm having fun playing this. But this is like one of the issues with a game like this is it becomes a bit convoluted. Yeah. At times. Perhaps. Um. Right, like I don't even know the place we'd go to next where this would be super useful. Right, because there's like 15 of them. There's like so many different places that we could go to, but also I don't know where any of them are. Yeah, like there's four directions um, to go to from like this central location. I feel like location. this is the entrance. I feel like this is, yeah, this is where we came from. Okay. There's a, uh, maybe there's like a thing up here. No, just disappear. Oh, you could probably get to that hole in the wall where the four rolly guys were. Yes. Uh, do you remember how to get I there? think it was the where the statue is facing forward. Was it the sword way? Forward? I think oh, there's the key way. up there. <laughs> oh, the, you had invincibility, though, from the, um, the guy. We... So, uh, go over here, run towards it, and jump off the sidewall. Oh. There's got to be. Oh, 
There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Another thing about games like this is sometimes things are so hard that you don't know if you did it right. So I feel like the kicking mechanics, I don't love it right now, but I feel like the more comfortable I'll get with it, it'll actually be really cool. I'm thinking it's probably gonna build to something else. Like there's other things that we need to unlock. Also that. Um, yeah. That'll make this wronger. Like there's definitely, like that's definitely how you get over there, like to that area. That's gotta be, like there's like a this plus a wave dash and then you just do that. Yeah. And like that's how you get across. Is that this way? I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I, I'm totally lost. Was it above us? Maybe. Was it in the um? Just uh, no, jump back down there and then go through the door on the side. This one? Yeah. This is where we just came. That goes yeah, but I th ev everything I think just kind of stems off of that central area with the giant statue, you know? Right. Like, that was all just one giant loop you traveled in. You went in the left side, you came out the right side. I think if you wait, if you press X right away, you'll jump off, but if you, like, are near the lip, you'll grab onto Wait, it. have you been pressing... Oh, X. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking Xbox. Oh. Okay. I was like, is there another way to do this? You have a key. Uh, we do have a key. And a power-up. Look at that. Hey, what are we gonna get? Professional. Oh, professional. come on. Okay, so I'm guessing the keys probably aren't ever gonna be used for anything. Okay. So Does I don't it do anything, or is it no? Just it's just an outfit. outfit. Um, well, I feel... sometimes outfits and oh, maybe effects. Because these are the sun greaves. Maybe wait. If I take the sun greaves off, can I still? Okay. It was just yeah, an outfit so that I think came it... along with yeah. it. I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I don't think uh, I, I don't think the keys are gonna like do anything. Then I feel like they're probably just primarily for cosmetics and the way that you or like shortcuts or whatever, and the way that you actually progress through the game is by using your power ups. And the golden key. I'm assuming the golden keys will be. Yes. Uh, yeah. Probably. Like probably. Progression. Yeah. But the silver keys, based on the two we've used so far, they don't seem to do anything game changing. Which is good. Okay. Nice. Was there this is the library though, isn't it? This yeah. is the library, yeah. Um, was it up this way? No, 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 no. I think. Oh my god, I'm terrible. I, feel I like think you want to go back to like. I feel like we keep just coming back to the same area. I feel, I feel like, like you want to go um, take the door. The lo oh wait wait wait. Wasn't it like go down this thing up here? Oh maybe maybe you're right. <gasps> oh no! Don't press X. Don't press X. Why is it not vaulting? Why is because why is you're it kicking off? It. Because you're. I wasn't even. It does it automatically. Right, but you're pressing X, so it's kicking before oh it will vault. That's so stupid. I feel like it was like in this area. be the way to get up it's like there's no way they would make you walk like all the way no okay yeah we're gonna have to walk all the way around nah oh my god mm, 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand that mechanic yet. I'm gonna have to get the hang of that. Oh. Duh. This is a very... confusing... Yeah, I, I don't... Don't, I don't know that I love this mechanic. Okay. Yeah, like, it feels a little bit too finicky. I, I agree. Um, yeah, I feel like it was through here. Was this the one you were talking about? I guess I should heal. Oh, yeah. This, oh. is, this is above the bubble room? Oh, yeah, wait, there was, like, stuff up there. Maybe if you bounce between the pillars? Like, between the wall and the pillar, there should be, I like... I feel like they're far. No, like, between the, the wall and the pillar. Hold on, I think that'll work. This will work, actually. Like, on the left side. Yeah, like here, you're saying, right? Yeah. Nice. Um... So it looks like there's a doorway above you. To the left. But I don't... No! Oh, that's annoying. But I don't even know. Can you reach up there? to go on top of that. What? Oh, there's a guy. I'm supposed to go help in the theater, but I can't really get through here. I just don't really want to touch the bubbles. Okay, bubble. I think that does give you extra height. It looks like you are doing going a, a backflip, right? It looks like you're actually going way higher. Nice. You think I'm supposed to go that way, though? Probably. Oh, this way? No, this is where you came. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was just unlocking the... Yeah, the great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Imagine I fell. I think, uh... Yeah, I think it's the right way. Hard to tell. I keep seeing those things and thinking it's the number two. <laughs>
Shot. My bad. All right, you got to do it along the wall. Is that the trick? I think so. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got one try left anyway. So oh, you gotta move towards it. I don't like that mechanic. I'm not a fan of that mechanic. All right, that is very frustrating to use. It's a fun game though. Um. I don't think it's gonna be too long either. I think we'll probably be able to finish it in a couple. I feel of like weeks. we're making good progress. All right, cool. Um, cool. Right, well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Yeah. Um, this was a this was a good stream. This was fun. It was. Um, it's nice to have a game that we're gonna play at least for the next. Oh, well, actually, I won't be here. Yeah. Next week. So next week, <laughs> we I don't know what we're gonna be doing. We're we're gonna be doing something interesting. Um. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get a guest on the stream. Yeah, uh, um, I won't be here. Brian will not be here. We have Library Advocacy Day up yes, in Albany. Very we're going important. to ask for more money. More money, more money for libraries. Uh, the effective tax rate right now is I think two percent for libraries. Like that's the amount of that's our tax yes. contribution that we get. Yes. Um, and that, that's our cap. So we need more money. We need more money. Uh, libraries yeah. provide a lot of important services. Yeah, this is like um, one of the least important things that libraries do right here. Yeah. I mean, we have fun. We hope that you are all having fun joining in. It's yeah. fun to yeah, talk about sure. library services, games, but there's so many important things that we do here. Yes. Um, there's some truly amazing people that work here and the work they do is so important to the community. Yeah. Uh, we actually yep. just launched a new campaign also it's uh, how the public library changed my life. Mm -hmm. So if you follow the hashtag library changed my life, you'll see us and a bunch of other, basically every other library in Suffolk County and we're trying to expand it out. Maybe even all of New but... York State. Yeah, other libraries in the nation. Um, it, li libraries provide a lot of really important services to a lot of marginalized members of society who totally. otherwise don't yep. have the ability to advocate for themselves. Yep. Um, and I think it's just really, really important that libraries are well staffed and in order to be well staffed you have to be well funded well trained 100%. you need to be well funded in order to have resources you need to be well funded um and the best way that you guys can help at home uh especially if you live in new york state is you can contact your county representative um or your district representative or you can send a letter or email directly to Governor Kathy Hochul. Yes. Uh, letting um, them know how libraries maybe are important to you. If you actually go to our Instagram, um, you go to the link tree on our bio, mm -hmm. the top thing on the link tree right now is a pre-filled out letter form right to Kathy's desk. Yes. And yeah. you can, it literally takes less than 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. You just fill out your info. It's a pre-written letter. Uh, we have over 1,500 people who've signed it already. Yeah. The more we get on that, the more it'll do for libraries. Yeah. And uh, also, if a library has changed your life in any way, there's another form in our bio that you can fill out, and I will make a fun video of you talking about how important the library is for your life. Yeah. Uh, we've had one go up already. We put a photo post up today, but we'll be continuing to put these out to show why libraries matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, libraries are... Uh... Very important for the community, so any little bit helps, you know? Totally. So, uh, yeah, so Brian will not be here next week. I am going to try to be here. Um, I don't know, running the stream alone is a lot. Brian can tell you that much because he's had to do it a few yeah. times now. Um, I'm going to try to be here. We're not going to be playing this game, but we are going to be playing something fun. But as soon as uh, I'm back, the, the week after, we'll be uh, But yeah, the week after, right we're going to be right back game. into it. So if not next week, uh, we'll keep you guys updated either way. But mm -hmm. um all right. Are you so ready after two weeks to be totally lost in this game and not remember a thing about where we're supposed to go? Yeah, any yeah. aspiring game developers out there who may or may not be watching this, please put maps in your games. Yeah. Put maps in your like, games. I know, it's like, oh, it's exploration, you should find... No, I just... It stresses me out. It's, it's just yeah. stressful. Just put a map in the game. If I was exploring a crazy castle by myself, you know what I'd do? I'd pull out a pen and a paper and I'd start writing down where I was going and what... Room Maybe we'll do that. Together. Maybe we'll have whoever's not playing just be cartographer for the day. <laughs> I don't hate the idea of us making our own. Making your own map. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's what the Etrian and Odyssey games you have to do. You have to draw your own map. Yes, I've play. seen games do that before. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. 
okay. Persona Q. You also have to do that. But all right, uh, I have to go to a meeting. So this has been really fun. Very cool. Um, but Thanks I'm for stopping by. Very, cool, game. Very uh, cool game. Yeah, libraries are important. Thanks for uh, tuning into the stream. Even just even just watching us, you know, you're yeah, we out. appreciate it. Um, so yeah, very cool. Uh, we'll see you guys either next week or in two weeks. We'll be back. We'll be back eventually. We'll see you again. We will be back. Um, all right. So thanks for stopping by. Bye. See you next time.